What's going on everybody? Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. Today's video I want to talk to you about just how excited I am for Warbands, what it actually means, what it's going to benefit you playing the game in general, and how it's going to be amazing for gold makers and people that love playing the game with various alts. Before we do that though, don't forget to check out goldcap.com. It's got a lot of good gold making guides over there, good community that's building, and uh, Discord as well. So go check those out. There's a link in the description down below as well as a discount code. Okay, warbands. So what are warbands? Well, let's talk about what warbands are not, first of all. Warbands are not a set of only four specific characters that share everything. I think that this was a misconception that was going around that there were only four characters that can be in a warband at one time. And those were the only characters that would get all of the benefits of being in the warband. After, you know, the community's been in here, we're playing the beta, people have been playing the alpha, some more discussion by Blizzard. This is not the case. So what they've done in the login screen is they've added this warband view to where you can see these four characters and you can switch these in and out with whoever you want to be shown but at the end of the day this has nothing to do with warbands this is just a different way to have your login screen look warband is just something that they've decided to term every character on your account so a warband is nothing more than every character that you have connected to your account, whether it be Horde, Alliance, what realm it's on, doesn't matter. So now all of your characters on your account, regardless of faction and realm, are now your warband. So when things are shared among warbands, it just means it's shared among your account, like your it's account wide basically so they've always had a word for this they call it account wide now they're calling it warbands all right so this is amazing right i wish they had this for a long long time here's one of my favorite reasons that warbands is going to be so awesome the reputation that you earn is going to be shared among all of your characters on your account Right, so now if you're a person that plays one character all the time, then maybe this doesn't really matter to you too much. Uh, but for me, as a gold maker and someone who loves to play alts, this this is amazing because you don't have to choose and get locked into a specific character. Like for me, I like to tank sometimes, heal sometimes, DPS sometimes, and I would always hate it. Like if I really liked, say, Hunter DPS, but I also wanted to heal sometimes I would never level out and max out a hunter because then if I wanted to heal I'd also have to level and max out a healer or choose a class that has all those specs and you hate starting over right you're gonna to have to level individually but uh, once you get your first character to 80 actually I believe you get this bonus that gives you like 5% increase so that's that's helpful as well but I didn't want to have to restart on all of the reps and everything. So you always had a main that you know you did your reputation on, and then if you want a reputation on another character, then you had to do the same thing and get the rep gains. Now, why that's going to be important for gold making is this. So let's just open up what we have so far. I am not very far into the beta, but we can already see the Council of Dornago. So once we get to here, this is the first recipe that I've really seen. So right away, you get to Renown 5, and then you can get recipes for Enchant Chest, uh, for Intellect, uh, Council of Dornigal. So you get some things that you can now make. Some enchanting, and it looks like uh, maybe some inscription, I'm guessing. The character that I have this on does not have either of those professions, but I have other characters that do. So the good news is, is as I'm playing what I'm going to call my main, as I'm unlocking these reputations and these rewards for these items, these recipes, I can hop on my enchanter and then I can go and I can learn this because I've already earned the rep on one character and then now it's shared across characters. So you can log into all your different characters and you're going to have the same renown, which is fantastic. It's super amazing because imagine you're playing your blacksmither and you get the rep 
with a faction that sells alchemy uh, potion in like recipes. Well, that's useless to you because you can't buy them and send them to your alchemist. Now that problem is solved because you've already done it on your blacksmith. Now your alchemist can pick it up. This is amazing. So that's the first thing I really love. Uh, the next thing I really, really like is cross-realm trading. So uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can send items in the mail, or you can do it through what your warband bank is. So you just go to any kind of banker, and you open it up, and you have a tab now that's called warband bank. And you can put anything in here that you want to send. This is very, very cool because... You don't have to worry and stress out about which realm should I make gold on, right? What realm should I make a character on to make the most gold? Well, it doesn't really matter. In this case, it's going to serve you well to have at least a bank alt on every, you know, realm that you think might be good. And then you can send your items either through the mail uh, or through this war bank here and list them on that realm. So that's been a huge question for a long time. What are the best realms for gold making? Well, now it really doesn't matter because you can send stuff uh, through all your characters on your account, which is phenomenal. You also don't have to worry about which characters you need to have on specific realms. Like for me, I wanted to have at least six characters on each realm I was playing on because that gives me access to all of the professions, right? There's like, I think, 11 professions. You can have two at a time, so you know, it's six characters. Now you don't have to worry about that because my alchemist and my inscriptionist can be on one realm and then my blacksmithing and you know leather worker can be on another realm and I don't have to worry about having those specific professions on a specific realm because now they're all shared. This Again, this is just amazing. I'm super excited about this. Another cool thing is that you get another portable mailbox this is almost giving you like a war band. It's a war band bank, but it's almost giving you like another um, guild bank, right? So you don't necessarily need to start up a guild to get that extra bank storage because you're gonna have a war band bank, and you can buy you can buy more tabs as well. So you can get a ton of storage. You'll also get war band specific items that are like war band until equipped, or just anything that you can switch in and out among your war band. It's going to function like a region bank as well. So if you get material from one character and you put it in here, like say I got some fish in here, but my cooking is maxed out on another character, I'm going to be able to use the cooking uh, wherever I'm at. It's going to pull it from here just like a region bank. And you can see here, I think the first tab was like 1,000 gold. The next tab is going to be 25,000 gold. And then you can get another tab, 100,000 gold. So it does go up, but you're going to have a ton of storage. And this is going to be really, really awesome. Another really cool thing is that after a short quest line in Gadgetstan, you are going to get an, uh, an ability called Warband Bank Inhibitor. It's got a four-hour cooldown, but you can open that up, and it's going to give you access to your bank anywhere that you are. So this, this is amazing. Uh, because before you'd have to have engineering and have like the, the engineering mailbox to send stuff to an alt, like if you were running old raids or dungeons or whatever and your bank was full, or you'd have to have like the Katie stamp lady who's like has the mailbox. Now you have another option for that. So you can open this up and clear your bags and then keep going. It is on a four hour cooldown right now. Uh, so you're not going to be able to use it all the time. But with the hearthstones and all the different uh, banks around the world of Azeroth, you'll be able to get to a bank pretty quick. But if not, this is going to be really, really cool. Another thing that there's going to be going on with warbands is account-wide transmogs. So say, for example, you're trying to get the plate armor set from Tomb of Sargeras, and you run it once during the week, and you don't get it on your play character. Well, you have to wait another week. Not anymore. You can run it with a leather worker, with a cloth wearer. And if you're getting those pieces of gear, then you are going to be getting that transmog added into your account. So you can collect transmog on every character now, regardless of whether that character can equip it or not. 
So as of now, those are the things that I'm super excited about the Warband. Mainly, I'm not having to pick which realms I'm on, which professions I'm on, on which realm, which realm sells better, all that kind of stuff. I'm not having to worry about what professions I need to max out for which renown that I'm after. We can do that all through one main character or all of our characters in pieces and chunks and have it all add to the same pot, which is phenomenal. This is going to be great for gold making. This is going to be great for alts, and I'm really excited about it. Let me know what you think about warbands. Let me know what you're doing to prepare for the war within, how it's going, what you think. Have fun playing the game, and I'll catch you all later.